Every football player dreams of one day being on a team that wins the Super Bowl. Cowboy standout Chad Hennings has done it three times. But even though he was a star on the grandest stage, Chad says he still felt alone. He was a top Air Force fighter pilot and a three-time Super Bowl champion with the Dallas Cowboys. Chad Hennings was living a life defined by his accomplishments. But even when he was surrounded by the press and the admiring fans, he still felt alone. In his new book, Rules of Engagement, Chad shares that developing key relationships was the answer to his loneliness. Well, it's a pleasure to welcome a man who is a Air Force uh, hero. He's a, a football hero and uh, a former Dallas Cowboys star. Chad, it's a Good to see you. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thank you. It's a pity you're not playing for the Cowboys. Something's happened to them. <laughs> I know. It's, it's very frustrating as a fan. And I remember those days as a player when you'd lose. And, you know, you just feel for the guys in the team. And yeah. I'm praying for Jason Garrett now to oh. pull some magic. Well, let's hope so. Well, listen, somewhere along the way, though, you, you, you said you were sort of a loner. I mean, you, you had it all. You had a, play, a claim, three Super Bowl rings. What happened? It's one of those things, I think, just my personality growing up on a farm and, mm -hmm. and um, uh, st struggling with relationships, accomplishing things, doing the things either as a state champion wrestler, an all-state football player, you know, uh, academic All-American, Outland Trophy winner at the Air Force Academy. It was always out to accomplish the things. Mm -hmm. And it was through a, a struggle with the health of my son, Chase, is where I realized that, you know, I can't John Wayne it. I have to do it, you know, I can't do it alone, that I, I was created, we all were created for relationships. Mm -hmm. You use the term wingman, you learned that in the Air Force, what's a wingman, what does he do for you? A wingman is actually somebody that, uh, you know, in combat or in the Air Force that travels with you in a, in a package to go accomplish a tactical or strategic mission, somebody that is there to support you. To, to fly at your side, to watch, look through you to the target area to accomplish your mission. You know, in the Air Force terminology, if you didn't take care of your wingman or your wingman didn't take care of you, you know, the likelihood of you accomplishing your mission goes way down. So I draw upon that analogy in life that we need wingmen, a few close confidants that you mm -hmm. can share your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations, your sins, mm -hmm. your temptations, and somebody that can be there through you to watch you through those difficult times. You are Tough guy. Why, why do you think men have such a problem opening their hearts? Women are very uh, willing to share, you know, and talk about the you know, feminine side, but men don't want to do that. I think, you know, it's a culture that teaches men today to be strong. You have to be that strong, resilient type that you can be Rambo. Yeah. You know, but Rambo never won a war by himself. You know, you can't be Gary Cooper at high noon standing in Main <laughs> Street. You know, saying bring it on. We need men that will actually stand shoulder to shoulder, back to back with us and, and help us. And because, again, we were created for those relationships. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, you know, how we are going to succeed in life. In your life, who's your wingman and what did you do? Did you find a church where you, you found a fellowship group that way? You know, first of all, it was just that God provided one uh -huh. for me, like several of them for me. And it's one of those things I often get asked by by men, you know, how do I find a wingman? First and foremost, you, you pray. Pray for God to reveal that uh, individual to you. And you can go through your church, you can go through your, your men's group, you can find it at work. I mean, be open to it. And, and it's something that you don't find a wingman overnight. It's someone that develops over time. And, and by sharing your life and taking chance, we all have to seek those transparent, Christ-centered, masculine mm. relationships. Well, I... Hey, to say it, you're a pretty big guy, <laughs> and, and you won all these uh, awards, championship wrestler, champion this, champion the other, football. I mean, you're playing in the line of the Dallas Cowboys. Aren't a lot of guys sort of intimidated by you? Oh, it's kind of hard to find somebody to open up and say, okay, Chad, what's the deal? Because yeah, no, I grab him in a yeah. headlock, you know, yeah. and I give him a big Dutch rub. But no, it's, I have that soft side. I'm kind of like a big teddy bear, uh -huh. I guess. And when I do through my wingman ministry, when we meet and I talk with different organizations or churches or youth groups or whatnot, I'm very transparent. I talk about my shortcomings. I talk about, you know, you look at me, you look at my past, and mm -hmm. you see a, 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 what would possibly epitomize success. 
but I say, you know, that's not the case. That's what the world sees. Mm -hmm. You know, deep inside, I still struggle with the uh, lustful thoughts, with uh, envy, with all the different sins that mm -hmm. each and every one of us are vulnerable to. And that's why I can't fight alone. I need other men around me to accept me, to affirm me, and to hold me accountable. What about your two-year-old? What, what, what was the deal? What happened? And what did the Lord do? Well, it was one of those things that Prior to 1996, I had accomplished everything that I had put my hand to. Mm -hmm. I was a former fighter pilot, 45 missions in northern Iraq. I was a three-time Super Bowl champion. And my son Chase, uh, when he was two and a half, literally woke up overnight with uh, an autoimmune illness where his body began to turn and attack itself. And that was the one thing I couldn't fix. Mm -hmm. And that's where God began to really show me the, that it wasn't about me. It wasn't about the things that I could do. It was about my relationship with him and my relationship with others. Yeah. And that's where I realized that, you know, the importance. And, and I see a lot of guys, Pat, today that they put their identity in how much money they make or what their job is. Yeah. And yeah. with the recent downturn of the economy, men kind of struggle with who am yeah. I? Yeah. What am I created for? What's my purpose? Mm -hmm. And that's where it's, you know, it, it, Christianity is not necessarily rocket science. It boils down to, you know, we are created to worship God and to make his name known. You know, everything else is... Secondary How to does that. Your wife fit in with all this, by the way. Oh, she's my tactical partner. She is my true wingman. <laughs> yeah, right. She's the one that keeps me on the uh, on the straight and narrow. Yeah. You know, she is a true partner and equal helper in everything that I do, and and uh, she has been a, a integral part of my life. What are you doing now? I am a. I do a variety of things. I'm in commercial real estate, which has been a challenge the last couple of years. Oh, yeah. But uh, aside from writing books, I do a lot of public speaking, mm -hmm. uh, both for for-profit and non-profit entities. Well, I know you'd be a success in whatever you do, but the biggest thing is that you found your need for somebody else. And ladies and gentlemen, the book is called Rules of Engagement, Finding Faith and Purpose in a Disconnected World. You can get it on Amazon. It's available in stores nationwide. Rules of Engagement by one of the great linemen for the used to be America's team, <laughs> Dallas Cowboys. Was Tom Landry coaching when you were playing? I was drafted by Coach Landry. Yeah, Never I love him. He him. is a fabulous guy. Yes, he is. Yeah, yes, I guess that poor Wade Phillips may be not long with this world. Huh? <laughs> well, you don't want to comment on that? No comment. Okay, Chad, thank you <laughs> thank so you, much. Sir. God bless you. Appreciate it.